Ah, possession. Ah, now take out a small box underneath the uh, desk there. Have a look inside and show us what's there. <laughs> Smooth it. <laughs> <clears throat> this is my special travel dressing gown. <laughs> I'm contractually obliged to finish the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one item I always pack when I go on holiday. <clears throat> could you, uh, first things first, could we have the full modelling of the dressing gown, please? <laughs> Give us yeah. a nice twirl. Oh. Can we smell it? I think you should come out here, David, so you can see. <laughs> Enjoy the space. Uh, well, he's having trouble putting it on. It's, uh... <laughs> well, he's not abroad, he's confused. It's, um, have you forgotten the cord? The cord is missing. <clears throat> Oh, Just hold it as though it were done up so we get a proper okay, like idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you mind smoking a pipe and solve a crime? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love that. <laughs> Can I ask, Dave, where did you get it from? Uh, 1924. I think, <laughs> I think it's from uh, Marks and Spencers. Is it? What, what, did, did you say it's my special travel uh, dressing gown? Yes. Was I don't point? know if travel dressing gown is a technical term. But I have two dressing gowns. This is one. The other is a, is a, is a thicker toweling dressing gown, Ooh. which takes up more space in a suitcase. You take pajamas. Do you wear anything under it? Or... I, 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 yes, I usually... I feel sick. I, <laughs> <laughs> I usually... What I don't do is I don't tend to wear it over, you know, like, normal clothes like this. <laughs> this, this is, is like how... the worst oh, sexy chat like... line I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I'm naked under here. <laughs> to be honestly, I don't know why you come into so many encounters with me expecting arousal. <laughs> Does that go with you at any trip or certain trips? No, only if I'm going to stay the night somewhere. Yeah, obviously, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think you'd go to... I didn't think you were walking around Dixon's in it. <laughs> I'd like you to take a guess, please. Is he telling the truth or is he constructing a lie? True. Patsy? True. Do you think it's true? Yeah. Chris? Based on, on, the, uh, on the design of the dressing gown and his demeanour, I think they fit. <laughs> so, Lee, what's it going to be? I, I'll, I'll go with my team. So You're going to say true. it's true. Yeah. David Mitchell, is it true or is it a lie? It is true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it's true. Uh, that is David's <laughs> special cool. dressing gown. It's and just a dressing gown. <laughs> it's not a like special dressing gown. Like, I think it's got a personality. <laughs> it's David's special dressing gown. You are never going to get away from that now. Everyone who sees this show will look at you and see that. Look, forever. Basically, my entire image has been destroyed by this show. <laughs> I was like a cool guy who was into music and modern art before this show, <laughs> before all the stuff about dressing as an 18th century nobleman and having a little bell came out. <laughs> <laughs> the, tra the travel dressing gown is just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> So, just so we're in no doubt, that is David's special dressing.